Uh, interestingly, 99% of the responders said saying it's a good place to live. Uh, we don't know who that 1% is, but we have an invitation for them too. 99% said they feel safe living in Sandy, and 97% said they take pride in telling uh, people they live in Sandy. I've been here for a little over 30 years, and I remember for a number of years when people asked you where you're from, they, you'd say Salt Lake. Uh, people are happy to say they're from Sandy now, and we're pleased with that. 71% uh, agree that citizens' opinions are considered uh, uh, when we do things. It's sometimes people come out and don't agree with us, and then they say, we don't agree with you, you're not listening to us. And sometimes the council has to say, we, we're listening, but we just don't agree. So we appreciate the, the fact that people feel we're having feedback from them, and they realize they have input into their local government. Uh, road improvements was the, one of the things that, uh, major things that people wanted to see. Uh, I think we asked this question for today, and they say, end of road improvements is what we want to see. But, I can, I've said this now for the last year, we get a lot of complaints about it. We have a number of projects that came together all at one time. Now these projects exist because of our efforts over the last four or five years to see these projects come to fruition. Uh, 13th East was a, is a city road that we didn't have money to redo. We got uh, $22 million of federal funds, $4.5 million of state funds to rebuild 13th East so it functions much better and aesthetically it looks better. The 7th East project is a state road. Um, it's slow. Uh, I don't know if you remember State Street, but that was real slow. Uh, I can tell you a number of road projects that people called us about were frustrated. But once it's over, we will have the best uh, transportation system, uh, road system in the Wasatch Front. And that'll be very helpful moving into the future. Uh, we've got uh, a new, the new interchange at 114 South. I've worked on literally for 18 years. Uh, and finally, it was budgeted for uh, in, in the legislature in 1997. It was in courts for years, and finally it's open, and uh, we've seen a, over a 30% traffic reduction on 106 South, and that's what we're hoping. We'll see improvements still in the future in lots of uh, road projects that we'll look at over the next 20 or 30 years, but uh, getting these underway have really helped us a lot. Uh, we're looking at, we, we have uh, extended Auto Mall Drive, which I'll tell you about in a, in a little bit, the new developments that we're going to see coming. And then uh, light rail stations, uh, there's a big one on that one at 114 South, uh, but we have some other infrastructure needs. There will be a, a front runner station just across the freeway in South Jordan uh, from us, and uh, I don't know what that means for any kind of development or anything, but. Uh, that, that's another form of transportation. The meeting with UTA this morning, one of the things that's hard to look at is what the world looks like 30 years from now. I can go back 30 years in Sandy and uh, could not really project what we saw. I knew Sandy would grow and things would happen, but it's hard to project that far in the future. But if you don't plan for it, uh, you'll, it's going to happen anyway, and you're not going to be prepared for it. So we've spent a lot of time planning and, uh, and master planning and zoning and looking at the future so we'll, we can still accommodate a great quality of life. Economic development has been, I've been criticized for this over the years, uh, having so much uh, emphasis on development, but that's why our property taxes aren't going up, is because the cities are dependent on three things. They're dependent on property taxes, and as I've already said, we haven't raised those. When I moved to Sandy, it was the highest property taxes in the Wasatch Front. Uh, but we haven't raised property taxes. The other are fees and grants and things that are good. And yes, the traffic tickets and things like that. Uh, but that's kind of a combination. The only real major source of income for cities in the state of Utah, uh, and for us, is sales taxes. Uh, there's a 1% of the sales tax comes back to the communities. 50% of that is point of sale. We get to keep 50%, half a percent. And then the other half goes into a statewide pool that's distributed by population. That is your growth opportunity. Our sales taxes are off uh, from 2007 8, uh, about $3 million. Our general sales tax revenues are about $17 million. They were 20 and growing rapidly. We expect that to return with some of the projects that we'll talk about. And again, that's how we're able to fund parks and recreation and all the good things that uh, make it a high quality of life to be in our community.
Uh, this, this is a project up on 13th East that will still get underway at some time in the future. It's a condominium project. I don't know if the, I think the original developer lost the project. I don't know who will come back with it, but it is a gorgeous project of condominiums up there that uh, will be high-end condominiums with terrific views. Uh, 